Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pina and this is our snack for the journey. And this week we are in the letter that Paul wrote to Timothy, a very important letter. It's a leadership manual, so if you want to learn about leadership, you need to read this letter. If you are a leader in the church, you need, you must read this letter and, and familiarize with the teachings of this letter. Great, Paul talks about his experience, of encouraged Timothy, Timothy, because Timothy was kind of having a hard time there dealing with people, leaders, and the whole thing. It's a, it's a great letter, so read the whole letter. And before I share the verse for today, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and to share and share this video with your friends and family and help us to bless other people. It's, it's a very interesting verse for today. First Timothy verse, chapter 2, verse 4. Look what Paul tells Timothy. He's talking about God and said, Who wants all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth? Who wants all men to be saved? It's it's a great it's a <laughs> it's a big conversation. This verse is here because if you are a Calvinist or a Reformed, you're going to say, "But then, what about the predestination?" And then if you are the uh, 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 if you are a Methodist or other church, no, it's a, it's a, everybody's going to be saved and everything. It's that is not the point here. The point here is to make the gospel known to everybody. God is the one that's going to save or not. We don't have that power. So the conversation doesn't apply to us because we do not have the power to convert anybody. Right? You don't have, I don't have. What can I do? I need to proclaim the gospel and let them know the truth. This is what we have to do. This is our work. That is the goal, to make the gospel known to every man, everyone, the whole world. And we are a little bit behind that. The church is slowing down in the proclamation of the gospel. And we need to do that. I really believe that we are living a time theologically that's a very pessimistic time. We think that it's getting bad and, and we are glad that's getting bad because then Jesus is going to come. I don't believe that that's going to happen this way. I believe that the, the world will bow down to Jesus. The whole world will bow down to Jesus before he comes back. And this is our work. We have to do that. We have to proclaim the gospel to everybody, everybody. Our family, our neighbors, our city, our state, our country, other countries, everyone needs to know the truth about Christ. That is the, for me, that is the main point here. Because we don't have, we don't have the power to convert anybody. God is going to use the proclamation of the gospel to convert people. So it's out of our hands. What we can do, what we must do, is to proclaim the gospel, to share the good news about Christ and His salvation. And I believe that, uh, like the prophet said, the, the, the whole world will be covered with His truth and His word. And, and it's going to be great for that generation that we'll see that happen. But we have to keep doing. We have to keep working. We have to keep proclaiming. Do not give up. Do not give up. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.